what's up? Favorite comparison in this video with two beasts on 380 horsepower level. So from one side we have the brand new redesigned wheeled edition of Case AFS 380 Magnum, against the Fent 939 Vario which is redesigned also, both tractors are the second largest models of their series, both compete each other on 380 horses, so let's see which comes first on all levels on the same rated power, as always subscribe like share and use the bell button to grow this channel, and a small mention here. You must always check the pinned comments and descriptions of our videos, a lot of times we add extra informations and we correct things, so it is very important to check the pinned comments, let's start. As about the engine, the Magnum wears the FPT Cursor 9 of 8,7 liters and 6 cylinders, Vario wears a slightly larger engine, the man of 9 liters and 6 cylinders, so as about the engine the Fent has an advantage on overall power performance. The gross power of case is at 380 horses and it can be boosted at 418 and it can touch the 435 max with power management. Fent from the other side has 385 horses rated power without using any boost, so as about the the basic power Fent has 5 horses more, they are almost the same, but the case using extra boosting advantage. The PTO claimed of Magnum is at 315 horses, Vario's is slightly higher, at 317 peak. The PTO tested of Magnum is at 372 horses with 73 liters fuel use per hour, fence is lower, at 346 horses with 65 liters fuel use per hour, so, Magnum has way stronger tested, but Fent has lower fuel use. The drawbar performance of Magnum is at 274 horses, with 65 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull of 13,162 kilograms, Vario's drawbar from the other side is higher at 295 horses, with 65 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull of 13,313 kilograms, so the Fent here is the king of drawbar performance, as it has more power with the same fuel use and almost the same max pull, both uses the same speed of 9 kilometers per hour during the pull. The peak torque of Magnum is at 1,850 newton meters on 1,300 to 1,400 revolutions per minute, Varios is at 1,850 also but on 1550 revolutions per minute, so both come equal here, but the case can touch its peak on lower revolutions, so you choose. The rear hitch lift of case is at 10,929 kg and the front one touching the 4,070 kg peak, fence rear from the other side is higher, at 12,410 kg with the front one also higher, at 5,584 max, so the fence is the king of hitch here. The top speed of Fend is at 50 to 60 km per hour, with 1,700 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the Tia 300 Vario CVT transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 625 liters and 70 liters at blue. Some of the cabine innovations are, 12 inches terminal on the armrest, 12 inches terminal in the roof, pneumatic comfort cab suspension, super comfort seat evolution active Duma leather, integrated automatic climate control, front windscreen laminated safety heated glass, rear heated window, 300 degrees front windscreen wipers, rear and side window wash wipe system, retractable comfort mirror and clearance light, infotainment package, infotainment bundle and 4.1 sound system, radar sensor, cool box and you can see more down to the brochure. The top road speed of case is lower from the other side, at 40 to 50 kilometers per hour, with 2000 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the power drive or CVX drive transmission, and a max fuel tank capacity of 678 liters as power drive or 617 as CVX drive, and an ad blue of 99 liters, Magnum has one of the most beautiful cabins of the market, some of the cabine innovations on luxury cab are semi-active hydraulic cab suspension, leather steering wheel, premium leather seat with active suspension, heating and ventilation and leather passenger seat, carpet, Bluetooth radio with high performance speakers, newly designed color display, AFS Pro 1200 monitor, front rear and side sun shades, electrical adjustable and electrical telescopic wide angle mirrors, front and rear cameras factory installed, accent lighting, additional USB connections, 3 pin and 230 volts power sockets, up to 20 LED lights and more. So, we saw the power and performance specs on 380 horsepower level. The sources are placed to the description, let's now compare the size of these two monsters. The basic weight of Fend is at 11,400 kg and it can touch the 20,000 kg of max permissible, the wheeled Magnum from the other side is a little heavier, at 11,730 kg and it can touch the 12,190 kg shipping with suspended front axle, the max permissible is at 18,000 kg, lower than Fend, so Magnum is heavier, 
but Fent has higher max permissible weight. The wheelbase of both is at 3.15 meters. The length of Vario is at 5.57 meters, case is longer, at 6.22 to 6.29 meters and it can get the 6.50 meters with heavy duty rear axle. The total width of Fent is at 2.71 meters, Magnum is smaller, at 2.55 meters. The total height of the cab of Vario is at 3.38 meters basic, or 3.41 meters with Vario guide, Magnum is slightly shorter, at 3.37. The numbers of the Rotrack Magnum can be different, here we mention the wheeled one, as the comparison is based on the wheeled edition. So as a conclusion, the Fen on 380 horses level has larger engine, 5 horses more on rated power, 2 horses higher PTO power, less fuel use on PTO tested power, higher drawbar power, higher front and rear hitch lifts, higher top road speed, lower rated engine revolutions, smaller ad blue tank capacity, higher max permissible weight, it is wider and taller on size with Vario guide. Magnum from the other side uses boosted power unlike Fent, it has much higher PTO tested power and burns more fuel at the same time, it has higher fuel tank capacity only if it uses the power drive transmission, it has also higher def tank capacity, it touches the same peak torque on lower revolutions than Fent, it is a heavier and longer tractor as about size. Both tractors have almost same max pull, same fuel use with same working speed on drawbar performance, both have the same torque, also same wheelbase. Difficult choice, they compete each other on all levels, which would you choose? Where would you put your money? Green or red? Waiting a ton of comments and of course your like and subscribe to continue our job, have fun.